y'all what's up you know it's your girl the original barbie we're back with another episode i know i've been gone for way too long but we're gonna get into that we're not gonna you know chop up the details just yet but i just know i'm back i'm alive <laughs> and, and here to give all y'all the details <laughs> so we are getting in to this new year guys this new year this feels like the same year more bullshit <laughs> for me i don't know about everybody else i mean it's kind of bittersweet you know i've been having good moments and then i've been having bad moments so let's take it all the way back to january right january here boom you know got my house you know moving into my new house and everything thought everything was gonna go good you first know? of all let's congratulate you on the new crib oh thank you thank you really like the house it's like a three-story house i got a basement too and it's a three-bedroom well technically like a three-bedroom den i guess you can say but i really like the house i love the way it's laid out and everything but when i first moved in i had the dumbest problems the dumbest and when i say the dumbest i mean it's like a bittersweet moment you know Cause when I moved in, I had no heat. <laughs> I had no gas. I had no heat. So we in this house and it's freezing cold. The only way for us to take like baths and stuff is like we had to get an electric kettle, put like cold water in it, and then let that joint heat up and keep doing it over and over again. We had to get an electric stove, cause my stove inside the house is gas. So I had to get an electric stove to cook. I had to get an electric kettle so that way I was able to take a bath and, you know, do whatever I had to do as far as, like, washing dishes and stuff. I had to get, like, eight space heaters in my house for, like, every room, the living room, the kitchen. It was just crazy. But from January all the way until now, the problem is finally fixed. Like, just now. Like, this month. <laughs> and we about to go into spring summer so it's like my heat not really needed now but i needed it for like the hot water and you know cooking and everything but the good part about it is that it's finally done so i ain't gotta worry about nothing but what went on so february came. no before february i got into an accident and I got into an accident with a dummy who ran a stop sign. Like, I I don't know if y'all know, like, Liberty Heights. Right there by my dominant, like, I was turning. And the light was green for me. And, oh, uh, what was it, Ocala? Oca Ocala? Yeah, it's like It's like right that that first side street right there. And I think it's Ocala. By 7-Eleven? Yes. He, instead of him, stop. We made eye contact. Like how we making eye contact right now, he made eye contact with me, okay? And I know because I have my glasses on and you know it gives me like 30-30 vision. You feel me? <laughs> Without my glasses, I ain't driving. But I literally saw this man make eye contact with me. We locked eyes and he still tried to make it. Still tried to make it. And I ended up T-boning him right there. So tell me why when I did that, right? This man immediately does like this. Like pretends like he falls out like he was gonna get a check or something. I'm like, first of all, let's 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 be realistic, my guy. Let's be realistic for real. You ran the stop sign. My light was green. You're in the wrong. So what are we really doing here? So police got called. I was so mad. Y'all, this is the first accident I've been in with my car, okay? Got my car, I think it was last year in February. Didn't even make it to a year yet before I got into an accident. And I really think my mother jinxed me because she was like, 
yeah, you need to get insurance on your car, blah, blah, blah. You never know what happened. This was literally like the day before I got into an accident. My mother called it. And I told her, stop speaking stuff on my life. But later on down the line, uh, I didn't get the car fixed because I came to find out that they didn't have insurance the day that it happened. They got it the day after. So I couldn't get my car fixed. So I had to come out my pocket to get my car fixed. Um, then on top of that, my son's birthday was on the tenth, and I have a uh, me and my mom have a event planning business. So for us to promote our event planning business, you know, we did like we did my son's birthday party like up like we yeah put our foot in that. You know, like your grandma was cooking. You feel me? We put our toe, our big toe in that. And we showed out. So everybody was like amazed at how well the decorations was. And I had like a few of my friends come up and they helped me out too. It was a lot of fun. And I really enjoyed the birthday party too. It was really fun. So after that, I was getting myself together, trying to revamp get my uh i was actually trying to come back in the studio to get my videos and stuff recorded for podcasts and then you know we wasn't like on the same page with that because one day i would have a doctor's appointment the next day he going out somewhere so i couldn't get in here so the week after that was my best friend's birthday went to dc okay Went to D.C. for my best friend's birthday. Got up there. Went to the place called, I think it's called Mayflower. I think it's called Mayflower. And I spent, what, like $50? I want to say like $50 on a plate, right? Yeah, $50 on a plate. And I got the video of the plate, too, so I'm going to show y'all. And the best thing on my plate was the salmon. Like, the sides was disgusting. Like, I wanted to throw up. Everybody's food was nasty except my friends. Like, and she got lamb. But the scenery was nice. It was real pretty in there. You know, they had it done up. But the food was just not it. What it was called? Mayflower? Mm Mm-hmm. Mayflower. Come on, man. We doing a review on y'all asses. No, like, really. Like, it was not it. And I've seen so many people post about it on TikTok and all that other stuff. And I'm like, what the hell did y'all get? I mean, I mean anything is talking about this 7 West place. What's that? 7 West? You ain't heard about that shit? That been on TikTok, too. Where? Is it D.C., I think? I, I can tell you a whole bunch of better spots out here in Baltimore and D.C. that have bomb food. And I ain't never been disappointed. Don't be listening to half of these TikToks out here. And number one thing about me is that I'm real big on going to black-owned businesses. So, like, black-owned restaurants, (laughs) listen, they don't ever fail me, okay? (laughs) Because somebody in that kitchen know how to cook. You heard. But, yeah, so after that, got in the car. I was a little tipsy. You know, I ain't get into the club because I had my ID, so I couldn't go into the club with them. But I ended up going home, and I needed to go home because my drive from D.C. all the way back out to Baltimore was like an hour and something, bro. I wasn't doing that. So, I was a little tipsy, but I made it home, you know. And then, a week after that, was my boyfriend's birthday. (sighs) Let me tell y'all something, all right? Nobody can ever say to me, you do not put money in to anybody's birthday because I be want all out, okay? I took my boyfriend to St. Thomas, okay? We went to St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands, and if you haven't been, go because it's freaking amazing. But what I say, when you get there... Well, before you get there, have your trip planned out. Like, book your excursions ahead of time and all that other stuff. Like, get all of that prepared. Um, They drive on the left-hand side of the street. 
So, if you don't feel comfortable driving, catch taxis. But I'm just telling you now, taxis be like $15 per person <laughs> everywhere you go. Sometimes it's like up to 50 And some places that they don't be coming out to, like, I went zip lining. That was one of the excursions I did. And my boyfriend is so scared of heights, y'all. So scared of heights. He's scared of heights. He's scared of swimming. He don't know how to swim. So, I did everything that he hated, okay? But he ended up loving it, okay? But we're going to get into that. So, we went to uh, zip lining. And zip lining was like all the way up the mountain, okay? And I had like personal guys taxi numbers and stuff like that. Shout out to my man Spice Man. Shout out to my man, uh, what's his name? Uh, David. They was bombed, you know. They told us where to get the weed at down there. <laughs> we 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 literally told this guy that we wanted to go to the dispensary, and he was just like, he was like, yeah, you know. He was like, okay. He was like, I can take you out to the dispensary before we go to your hotel, cause by your hotel, we like, all right. So we pulled up to the dispensary, y'all. The dispensary is a gas station. Stop playing. Stop playing. <laughs> we was like, this is it. He was like, yeah. <laughs> But it was wild. But um, when we went to go zip lining, they took us all the way up the mountain. But when we finished, first of all, my boyfriend was highly scared of everything. But then, and I got a video of like him screaming, like his life was about to end. <laughs> On the very, because it was like six different zip lines or whatever. Because you had to make your way back down the mountain, down to the entrance. And... He was scared for his life, y'all. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna put the video in here so y'all can see that shit. But that was so funny. Like you would have thought he would have lost his life on that zip line. He dropped the phone and everything. So so yeah. But it was so much fun and he enjoyed himself too. So it was pretty cool. But when we was trying to make our way back to the hotel, ain't no taxi wanna come get. They kept hanging. They kept boofing me, y'all. Like, I was calling, 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 and nobody wanted to answer the phone. So, I was just like, all right. So, when we went back down, I'm like, did y'all get an answer for them? Because they, like, radio to them, like, hey, they need a taxi back down the mountain. They're like, okay, cool. Bro, we was there for, like, an additional, like, what? An additional 20, 25 minutes before another taxi came. I was highly upset. But yeah, so when we finally got back down the mountain and everything, another thing that I say is that if you want to do anything, please do it in the morning because everything closed hella early down there. Like everything be closing at like nine, ten o'clock. Makes me a little upset. Except it's the plaza and Haven site. They stay open pretty late. And everybody down there was hyping up so many of these food places. And I went down there and I was just like, y'all taste buds and I taste buds is not the same thing. And we kept asking everybody out there. We was like, what, what is y'all native language? They said English. And we was looking at them like, they speak like a broken English. But when we told them that they speak broken English, he was just like, no, it's not broken we don't speak like he got mad as hell that we said that boy. I'm like That's like you tell the ball the war, nigga. <laughs> like say too. Nah, that don't sound right. You don't right. say it right. Right, you don't say it right. When I tell you out there, they all sound like Jamaican. They all sound they do that Jamaican broken English kinda I was like, boy, I don't understand nothing you saying to me. All the islands down there got the accents and shit, you feel Yeah, and I kept trying to tell them like I don't hear what you hearing. I used like, to have an accent, for real. Mm. And but you know, I grew out of it and shit. But just, just like just like you said, niggas would be like, "Yo, what you Jamaican?" They just think it's you Jamaican. Like, no, nah, like, all of them got the accents down there. You feel me? That's what I'm saying. That's what I asked him. I was like, "Are y'all Jamaican? Like, what, <laughs> are <you>, like, <laughs> what kind of accent are y'all? Like, what kind of accent do y'all have?" It was. I was like, "Blood clot." That, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> They was like, and we all, I was sitting out there looking at them like, bro, this is not English. Like, y'all definitely speak broken English, if anything. They was just like, it's not broken. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Don't catch me lying. So then, after that, the day after, 
we went and did like deep sea diving. Like we had like the little sea trek helmets on. We look like bug like here under the water. And like we walked around and like saw different fish. Saw like my boyfriend grabbed I mean got the whole ooh, got the hold of sea urchin. I touched it. It was nasty. All his little legs was just, ugh, it was nasty. It was nasty, bro. But it was a cool experience, though. So, I was sitting out there, like, and, and outside of deep sea diving, they got, like, shark swimming or something like that. And then, it's, like, a whole aquarium out there. So, we did the aquarium first, and then we went and did the sea trek thing. And it wasn't a long wait. They say everything out there at the island takes so long to do. Like, it takes so long to... They're slow out there. So, if you're going to do anything, book everything online. Make sure you read the directions and all other stuff of where you got to be, when you got to be there, and be there on time. Because that's one thing I can't say about these people, that they will start on time. <laughs> they just take a long process to get you in there. It's just a different pace of life down there. Yeah. Ain't they, like New York. Or, you know, city life. Like, their you know, hustle is different, right. too. Like, they don't, sh their hu their striving hustle isn't as, like, serious as ours is. Or serious as any other state that I've ever seen. Like, there's, like, I've been, like, we went down to Cookie Beach. And, like, there was, like, food spots over there. But you would have never knew it was food spots over there if they didn't come and approach you. Like, every once in a while to bring you a menu. Like, there's no signs up. There's no, like, hey, we got food over here. Like, and I swear it was a couple of times there people would walk away from me and put my order in and I would get my food before I even paid them. And I'm like, that's not how you work. <laughs> that's not how you work. You get the money first. This is not a restaurant. This is some place where you pick up and you go. You're supposed to pay before you give anybody. You, ain't worry, you ain't worried about that shit. Now. It's, a, it's like, see, it's different with us. Like, we got more pressures in the city and shit. Like, like living out here, you got more pressures and shit. But down there, like, you really, really kind of are waking up in paradise. Like, you feel me? Like, that too. Like they live a, it's a more simple life. You feel I me? Mean? Like they, it's very simple. They can like live that. off of the land. They ain't really gotta even go to the market or nothing. You feel and I mean? they markets out there is expensive. Exactly. Like for a thing of eggs, it was like ten dollars. We complain mm -hmm. about eggs here. I told them out there, I want to see the chickens. <laughs> Show me the chickens. <laughs> they better be. They better be chickens with three heads. <laughs> Creating mutated eggs or something. <laughs> like, let me see the chickens. They got, but you know, you know, they, they are part of the U.S., so a lot of trade and shit coming. It's a tourist town. It's a tourist yeah, but the thing about it is, is that they did make a good point. It was like, everything we have, we have to get sent here. So they got to make that money back somehow. I was like, you wouldn't have made it off me. It's a tourist town and shit. That's why they charge you ten dollars for them. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> wouldn't have made it off me. But um, yeah. So after we did the whole sea trek thing, the following day, no, the sea trek day was the day his birthday. So I paid for them to come in the room and like kind of like decorate it for him mm -hmm. and go and get like a Do cake I and everything. Brother? You don't got no all button. <laughs> so they came in and they decorated, you know, put, it's his 25th birthday. And for every black man out there, you know, that's kind of like a major birthday for a black, a young black man in Maryland, in Baltimore. Let's put it like that. That's an accomplishment for a young black man in Baltimore is to make it to 25 years old. Like. So now it's every birthday, though. No? Yeah, now it definitely is every birthday now. These kids is killing each other. They dying young. They should kill it's, each other at school, bro. Mm -hmm. you know what school shooters have been this year? Mm, already. <sighs> I'm tired of it. I'm over it. I keep saying that I'm a homeschool. They killing my kids. each other at school now, bro. I keep saying I'm a homeschool my kids, mm. but I don't want to socially. I don't want to make them socially awkward. I think you should homeschool them, but like put them in sports where they could, you know, around team, around other boys. Cause that's what I want to do with my son and shit. But 
Yeah, that's a whole different different story and shit. They gotta have, it gotta be two minds thinking like that. You feel me? Unless you, you know, you the soul provider. You really so know. provider of my children. Sure. So therefore, they do as I say. <laughs> but um, yeah. So the day after that, we went to where was it? Oh, we went sea turtle snorkeling. And I didn't get to take my phone out there because I didn't have the little thing I bought specifically for my phone to go underwater and stuff. But I did have like a video of the guy forcing my boyfriend to swim on the ocean. And he was like kind of freaking out about it but he had fun he was like oh i could have did this i could because he stayed by the boat he wouldn't even go out there where we was to see the sea turtles or nothing he stayed by the boat the whole time and then i told him i was gonna go see sea turtles and then i'll come back so i came back i saw him he was like you know chilling by the boat and everything and he swam with a barracuda y'all so he did pretty good i was proud of him you know he enjoyed himself and kind of like let loose. Um, then we got on like the sky ride the following day to go up to the top, the highest hill in the mountains to go up there and like shop and eat food and stuff like that. I can say one thing about the US Virgin Islands. All that food wasn't amazing, but they fries was all different and they all taste amazing. Like, they taste like they just cut them potatoes fresh. They just picked them potatoes this morning. <laughs> and went in there and started cutting and never frozen. Never frozen. Always go pick a new, uh, go pick new potatoes up in the morning. But yeah. And then we came back. All right, guys. Now, let me tell you the process of us coming back. We came back, okay, and we were supposed to be departed at 3 o'clock. So we left whatever we was doing around like 1.30 to make it to the airport by 2.30. So that way we'd be at the gate by 3. Y'all, why when we got there, it said that our plane was delayed until 5 o'clock. And who was about to pay another $30 for a taxi to go somewhere? And then another $30 to come back because it wasn't finna be me. I spent, I want to say over like five, $600 on just taxis while we was out there. That ain't right. That ain't right. But I wasn't driving on nobody's left hand side of the street either. So. But, um... When we got there, we finally got on the plane and everything in like five or something. And we took off. We landed in Orlando. We had a four-hour layover in Orlando. So we had to wait until 10 o'clock when our plane took off to go to come back. So yeah. technically, we didn't get on the plane until like, I want to say it was like 12 something. Like 12, 30, 12, 45. And then we didn't land. In Maryland until 2, 2.30. Now, let me tell y'all, <laughs> let me go back to explain, to help clarify what I'm about to tell you next. So, when we was coming to the airport, the night before, my boyfriend was supposed to come back to the house that same night. But he ended up falling asleep while he was uh, going to go get and pack his clothes to bring it to the house. So... I call him, our plane leaves, takes off at 7.20, okay? You listening? 7.20 in the morning. I called him at 6 o'clock, like, where are you at? He like, what time does the plane take off? 7.20 and you know this. And we still have to get to the airport and go through TSA and then try to find our gate. So, of course, he's speeding, trying to make his way down there. He finally get there. We get to the, we made it at the gate by the skin. Y'all, we got back and realized there was three different parking garages in the airport. 
and we couldn't find the car. In the cold at two, three o'clock in the morning for two hours trying to find the car, bro. Trying to find the car. Didn't find the car for two hours. Finally found it. Had to go to Glen, well, Glenburn not too far from there. But had to go to Glenburn to go pick up my son, then go to Randall's town to go pick up my other son. So we got my second son, and then when we got him, we driving down Liberty Road, and the person in front of us was either drunk, high, or falling asleep at the wheel at five o'clock in the morning. Give or take 4.30. Everybody was going around him. I thought, well, I was asleep. My boyfriend thought that was just because he was driving stuff. So he didn't think nothing of it. He was like, man, I'm about to drive slow too. You know, it, it is what it is. Like, I don't care about going fast right now. It's late. I'm just trying to get to the house, go to sleep. His dumb self wasn't paying attention to the fact that this person kept slamming on and off his brake. So, he finally goes in and slams on his brakes hella hard. My boyfriend hits him oh. from the back. Crazy. This was five days ago. That's wild. The first time I fractured my ribs, I dislocated my knee, I had a concussion. This time, yeah, was... I had... I messed up. My, my knee was like swollen or whatever. It was like, I don't know how, like what it was, but it was like real, like it was hurting bad. I could barely walk on my knee. Then it was really swollen. Like it's still swollen now, not as bad. Probably just sprain real bad. Yeah, probably. I bit my tongue so hard that I know y'all probably have been paying attention that I sound like Chris Brown right yeah. now. With, <laughs> when he was in AO with the list. Because I can't really let my tongue, the tip of my tongue, touch any part of my mouth. Because if I do, it's going to hurt. And then all this saliva just building up in my mouth. It's nasty. <laughs> and I don't like it. But what ended up really making me go to the hospital was, is because I have two pairs of glasses, right? My first pair of glasses are red. And those are the glasses I fell asleep on, sleep with in the car accident. They shattered, and I have pictures of, like, pieces of my glasses everywhere. When I, I straight hit the dashboard, I had a concussion. My eye was bruised, like, from the cornea all the way. Damn. It was bad. First of all, Baltimore County police officers are ignorant as hell. Like, first of all, my boyfriend was trying to check on the kids because they was crying. And we just think it was because it was like a sudden type of thing. Mm -hmm. My son, August, cries pretty much when he knows I'm in danger. Or if I'm crying, he cries. He does the same thing. So, um, he was trying to calm them down. And my other son was hungry. So, he was up there making them a while. They was getting information from us. And they was like, are you guys going to get in the ambulance? Are you guys going to go to a hospital? I'm like, yes. My knee is messed up. I'm bleeding from my face. I, mm -hmm. My nose was like swelled up. It still hurts now to like keep glasses on my face this high. So I sometimes I'll be wearing them down here because it's like I got a swelling all in my nose right here. And then my whole side of my face is swelled up. But here come, I don't know if it's the fire department or the ambulance that they sent. But he was like, are you getting in the ambulance? Yes or no? We don't got all day. Oh, <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> like, I'm, I was really baffled. Like, I'm looking at this man like, what did you just say to me? I was just like, you're acting like we're not a victim of a car accident, bro. We have kids in the backseat that we try to make sure are, are okay. And then he's up here asking me questions. Like. So you got his badge number in What? <laughs> like I was, I, I was, I was highly upset, but I was so hurt physically. physically that I couldn't think clearly. Like my head was throbbing, so I walked away with a bruised eye, cuts on my face. I had a messed up knee yet again, the same damn knee. 
<laughs> and then I had a, cu a concussion yet again. So, this whole time, I have been dealing with nonstop bullshit. And 2020. Just gonna focus on I'm alive and well, and so is my kids, and so is my boyfriend. We're all good. Yeah. By the grace of God. But you know, that's here you no know, there. So <laughs> we just gonna pray. I don't know who told God I was like his strongest warrior, but I told him I was out of the fight this year. <laughs> I told him I'm not one of them warriors this year. I did my time last year. Keep me out of the list. <laughs> I do not want to be on the list. And yet again, I'm here on the list. So we just gonna, you know, start a campaign called Protect Barbie 101. <laughs> protect Bar no, protect Barbie at all costs. Oh, Hashtag cost. protect Barbie at all costs. At all costs, man. I swear. You, gonna, you got the best stories, though. I, you got the best stories, you feel me? And I promise you, I am going to have more to come. It's definitely going to be more to come. And I am also throwing a birthday party for my 25th this year. And it's a, a Carnival Caribbean theme. So, I'm going to be vlogging about that. So, it's going to be pretty fun. So y'all gonna see that probably pretty soon too. That birthday party gonna be in April. Hit me up if y'all want the invite. But yeah. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much my 2023 wrapped up in about what? We're three months in. But thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thanks for keeping updated with me. I'm hoping from now on. God will allow me to keep coming in here to go ahead and keep talking to y'all and giving y'all all the good stuff because I got some good ideas for episodes coming up and I think that y'all gonna enjoy it. I know I'm gonna enjoy it. He enjoys anything when it comes down to recording. <laughs> so we just gonna make it known that at this point, it's only up from here, you know? That's just where we going with it. So make sure y'all take this link and you send it to your grandma, send it to your grandmama's grandma, send it to your auntie, send it to your uncles, your cousins, your dog, your cat, your, your goldfish, while you're taking them out for a walk, all of that. And make sure that y'all share it and post on Instagram about me being back and talking to y'all and getting to know y'all because I'm going to be pulling a lot of people into the show, especially people that be watching the show as often. I'm going to be talking more about that on my Instagram. So follow me on Instagram at the original O-R-I-G-I-N-A-A-L Barbie so that way you can keep up with what I got going on as far as my podcast. And make sure y'all tune into the network, which is where you at net well W Y A network, you know, where you at, you know. But yeah, make sure y'all tune into the network, tune into the Instagram because there's a lot of other good podcasts out here that y'all need to go ahead and tune into, get a little listen, you know, talk about some real stuff here. We talk about the good stuff, the bad stuff, all of it. So Thank y'all for watching and tune in next time. <laughs>